Uh, what's the significance of these samurai bonds and why now? Hi, good morning, Heidi. Um, this is a hugely historic and symbolic uh, deal, and we're watching it closely here. Um, it comes as the two nations are, are, are transforming their relations, and we're seeing it in politics, we're seeing it in security, and now we're seeing it in the financial markets. And it, you, we're seeing it, I suppose, also as a part of you know, President Yoon and Prime Minister Kishida have had reciprocal uh, visits to each other's capitals this year. And this is just uh, the latest step in, uh, in bringing their relations to a, a more normal uh, front. So what will the appetite be, Finbar? How does the expected pricing look? Um, South Korea is, is very highly rated, so it's actually got uh, higher ratings than Japan itself. So the, the spreads on this deal, the yield premium over the benchmark are quite tight. They're going to be some of the tightest uh, we've seen in years. So uh, we're looking at 20 basis points. So for your average investor, I suppose you could look at this instead of buying uh, a Japanese government security, you're basically buying uh, a South Korean government security that is higher rated, but you get that small little bit of extra spread. So are we going to see more Korean companies selling samurai bonds as a result? That is actually part of the, of the reason behind this. Uh, there have been obviously samurais from Korean companies in the past, like uh, Lotte and, and the banks, but it, it's very good and it's very uh, useful for the, for the sovereign of that country to have a benchmark. And um, the prime minister of, uh, I should say the finance minister of South Korea, when he was here, he said that was actually part of the reason. They'd like to see more Korean companies come here and selling samurai in the end market. So what kind of challenges lie ahead, Finbar, for, for more Korean samurai bonds? Will this open the floodgates? So we, w the way we're looking at it is uh, the relations between the two countries are on a really sound footing now, and the two leaders of the countries are doing their best to you know, come up to get over the, the historical baggage that they have. But uh, there's a, some opposition, or I should say, from the main opposition party in Korea. They are not uh, hugely welcome of a lot of these moves. So although everything is going well now, there are you know, worries that this could be overturned in, in a new administration after uh, President Yoon. So um, we expect to see more deals. There's a, a good few deals this year already. But uh, I think markets are just looking at this with a little bit of caution as well.